son, Reverend Martin. That was great. Let's appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. How many people have received something? All the way from morning, we are receiving and receiving. We are power. The truth is, loyalty is it. No matter how hardworking we are, if loyalty is not in place, you actually doing nothing. There is nothing that destroys like disloyalty. And I remember Reverend Martin was able to mention why loyalty is critical. One is it takes loyalty to build uh, a large church. You remember that point? So you cannot have a big church. Pastors, that is of keynote. Your ministry will only be up to the size of loyalty in that congregation. You cannot build the church increases by loyalty. Yeah. Where you have enlargement and greatness is because of loyalty. Look at uh, some of the nations, especially in Africa, where loyalty has not been embraced. Now, I'm, I'm not even talking about ministry. I'm talking about politics. Where loyalty is not established, no matter how endowed that nation is in matters, natural resources, and natural wealth, those nations, they don't become. At the root of those civil wars, upheavals, chaotic nation situations, you find disloyalty. This one is not ready to submit to this one. This one is not ready to acknowledge the other one should be the president. This one does not acknowledge and therefore they stage wars. And as they are fighting civil wars, as much as the country is so rich with oils, gold, diamond, they remain in poverty. The country does not become large. It is only countries that have embraced loyalty. Like when we go to voting, the one who wins, we accept. He has won and we support. <laughs> Those are the only countries that do good. When we go for voting, because we say we are democracy, when we vote, we are ready to accept the one who wins. That is loyalty. You are loyal to, to the country and to the government. But where there is no loyalty that we cannot accept someone else won. And we are ready to do anything to, the, to dethrone whoever that is said to have won. Those countries remain small. One of the reasons why America is the world's strongest nation, as we speak so far, in many aspects, military, economy, technology, education, is one is because they have tried to embrace loyalty. When somebody has won, we have gone to the ballot, and the authorities and the institutions say it is so-and-so who, who, who has won. They somehow accept and because of that, they have become big. Yeah, they have become big. You will also realize that in the time of Solomon, because in the time of Solomon, there was calmness. There were no rivalries. Not even like in the time of David. Jerusalem became great. The nation became big. The Bible says, and Solomon made silver and go to be as plenteous as dust. So that means economy went high. Everybody was a rich man. Everybody could afford gold and silver. They had gold and silver in their hands, maybe as watches, as rings, as uh, necklaces, as earrings. In the time of Solomon. But it was not so in the time of David. Because in the time of David. 
there were disloyalties here and there at several pockets. The truth is, we can never grow ministries. We cannot have big churches, wonderful departments, as long as there is disloyalty. That's how, that's how critical it is. That's why pastors, we must embrace the place of loyalty so much. And for us, as pastors and, and forefront leaders, you know, you, don't, you cannot give what you don't have. We must embrace it. We must even have people, uh, people must see that even our father, he, is a, he has a father, he's a miss too, and he's a loyal person. If you find a person that is demanding loyalty from others, but himself, he has no example of loyalty. Then he cannot go far because if you don't have it, you cannot give it. And these things are spiritual. They are spiritual substances. They are not just theories and, and, and uh, uh, head properties. They are not just head properties. They are spiritual. They are spiritual substances that are communicated from one person to another. GGV Church did not split, split, they did not split from any other. We were not in another church. Then we felt we don't want to be led by that pastor. Let's go and create our own now. <laughs> that is not the case. We were sent by God and stamped by our father, Apostle John Gashego. When I told him God is sending me to Meru, he said, Yes. I agree with you. He laid hands on me and he gave me and he signed my documents and all that and said, I send you now. I hope you are getting what I'm talking about. Uki divide kanisa, uki gawanya kanisa kwenda kufanya yako ata yako itagawanywa. Na begu begu inazaga mazao mengi. Did you know that the may seed has the capability to produce even to 800 times begumoja mahindi. 800 times. Begumoja mahindi hivi. Kamoja haka kamoja. Ukapande hivi. Kana uweza kana ya kupatia 800. So, kuna bilu unaweza kupanda ka disloyote hivi. Alafu ka kupatia harvest ya 800 times. Na hata kamoja hivi, ka harvest kamoja hivi, kaneza ukusumbua paka ukufe. Sasa 800 diyo tawezana nayo. So even as pastors, we must be in the forefront. As the leaders of the groups. For example, you are a leader of a particular group in church. Yet, you are in obvious disloyalty. Maybe you don't even agree with the pastor, the things he says. And you know, we are not, we are not talking about that um, like we are creating robots. We are not saying that you cannot speak out to your ideas and what God has put in you or a view, you may be having a different view which I may not have seen. That is, not, We are not saying that everybody is just following and doing things. No. My sons, I called them so that we can discuss. And I remember some of them I had a challenge because I want them to speak their mind in an environment of freedom, in an environment of openness. And then some of them would say, sir, as you say. Then I would be very young. Why did I call you? Because I, not, I was not call, calling you to say as I say. <laughs> I was calling you to do what? We discuss. Now, now. There is, I want to see, because maybe you have seen something I have not seen. No, no, Mr. Mumani. So when we are talking about loyalty, we are not saying that we can never speak something that is in us, that is that could be in another version, but in an environment of honor, in an environment of regard, in an environment of love, in an environment of faithfulness. I've been blessed so much by some of the council members. We sit down and they are able to help me to see other angles I had not seen of a particular matter. It's a blessing. So we are not saying that loyalty is just following. Uh, do you have any idea? Sir, as you say, your idea is only the... No, 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 that is not what you are saying. <laughs> now, 
Pastor Mutembe can tell you that. We've had several meetings where he has sat. And I have allowed them and encouraged them to bring their view. But even when they are bringing something, they are bringing it in an environment of honor, in an attitude of respect, in a, in a, in a manner of honor. I hope you are getting that. Are we getting that? Aha. Uh -huh. Do you remember even Jesus was asking people to do so? For example, they were in the wilderness. They have not eaten. Then he called them to bring the ideas. Andrew, come. What do you think? Bring an idea. And Andrew, the environment was very conducive. This is a man who is doing miracles, raising the dead, cleansing the lepers. And Andrew, a man we are not even told that he performed any miracle. He was able to give an idea that, uh, Master, the way my, the, at the look of things, these people, last time when I checked in the treasury, I think Andrew was close to Judas. Last time when I checked in the treasury, 800, I mean, eight months' wage for a man is not enough to buy food, bread for these guys. So, please, Master, according to me, I'm seeing like uh, just send them home and tell them God will bless them as they go. And Jesus said, Well, that's an opinion. Peter, what do you think? Bring your view. And Peter said, okay, master, just, just, give me, just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. And he went round. Peter had, went round and he discovered that there was a boy. He said, well, master, as I went round, I saw there is a boy who has five loaves and two fishes. What do you think? You can now continue my idea. At least I brought my idea, but it is halfway or quarter way. You can continue. Then Jesus, well, your idea appears like it can work. We, can, we have something to get started. Now, bring the five loaves and the two fishes. Then, I will do what you guys cannot do with the five loaves and the two fishes. But you must have something. Then, five loaves and the two fishes. And he did with those fishes and the bread. What they could not do for themselves, he multiplied. And it was a miracle. To this day, it is still a wonder. It was an, in an environment of honor and regard. If you are called to be in the councils, you don't shout at your pastor or even your leader. You don't shout down. You don't fume because we have not carried your, your, your view. I've seen some of the leaders, they get angry because they, you did not take their idea or their view and they even quit. If they are not going to take my idea and my view, then why am I there? Why did I even speak? I quit. This is not the only church. And they, as they are going, they are, they are busting and blasting and dandering. And they are causing havoc and writing things on Facebook. And then they exit. That is not kingdom citizenship. That is not kingdom life. That is not the way of God. Are we saying an amen to that? Mm. So please let us embrace. We as pastors, when pastors, you are called to do reports. I'm saying that because all of us, I know we deal with reports. Pastors from the headquarters, we ask for reports. You pastors, I know you also ask for reports from the departments. Departments, they are also asking reports from individuals. So when something small like reports, I want to see how many people were there today in Sunday school. How many children were there in Sunday school today? For me, I mind... I don't know about you pastors, but for me, I mind. Number one thing that I want to see, how many people got saved? I'm talking about here. I'm the one, I was the one preaching. People get saved when I'm preaching and people get saved when we are receiving the visitors where I am not. So after the service, I want to see how many people got saved. How many people came to church today? It's a good thing to know. Don't say, I don't care about numbers. I don't mind how many people came because I'm just preaching. God is the one who knows the hearts of people. Some of them may have come. Maybe they were there physically, but in the spirit, they were not there. So I, you know, there are pastors who say, I don't care that. No. For me, I care. I want to know how many people came. So I want a report. Sunday school. We even, we even ask for a report for Sunday school. How many children came? We count every children. We count the children in things. Okay, 
people who came in church here physically, one, two, three, four, even now, by, uh, by the end of the service, I'll have known how many people are here. Because God believes in numbers. That's why there is even a book called the book of numbers. Every time they came to the service, they were counted. Are you getting? <laughs> they, they even had officials of counting. I think that is where we, we came with a field uh, called accounting. Accounting in counting. So be, account be accountable. Bring the numbers. And even in the ministry of Jesus, they were ever counting. There were, how many people came today? There were 5,000 men, but we are still putting the statistics for women because there were very many. What about the children? We are still counting. We are waiting for a report from Brother Brother Matthew. Yeah, so tell him when, when he finally tarries the record to forward to the office. How many people got saved during their first crusade of Peter? 3,000. So they were counting. They did not say, ah, there were many people. God is not in the generalities. At how many people were there? Wow, 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 wow. They were so many. No. How many got saved in the time of Peter? 5,000. Let's make another crusade. If they came 5,000, it is possible that even in the next crusade, there is a grace for thousands. So they made another crusade. This time round, because it was raining, they came 3,000. I hope you are getting what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you report, including you show loyalty, including things like reports. Give the report to your leader. Before we even come to your pastor, the leader of the group, the leader of the department, be loyal all the way from there. Keep cribing all the way. And even as pastors, we go like that. Even when we ask for these records, yeah, let's be there. Receive the grace of record keeping and record forwarding in the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor Alex, Pastor Alex where is Pastor Alex? Yes, Pastor Alex. Eh? Record keeping is powerful. You <laughs> can transfer. It's a sign that God is lifting you. Yeah, records, powerful things. Yeah. When you are going, when you, if, if for whatever reason you are not able to be in that meeting, don't just disappear. You say, ah, ini mambo ya kanisa hijarigi, sika maida ya kwetu kwa ofisi, ya kwa bank. You know, you cannot just miss in the bank if you are a worker there, just like that. You have to report, you have to do what? Sometimes you report to about three people or so. But in church, a senior minister, a senior minister can just go missing. And this is a very critical day when we are having a national conference. But we don't know where he is. Maybe he was even handling money. Like one person I know. Sometimes we are looking for him and we need money to handle, to pay haul somewhere. We are not finding him. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Yeah, loyalty says, I'll even let my leader know today I'm not in. And the reason is, I am not, I've not gone to sleep. I've not gone swimming. I've not gone on holiday. How can I go on holiday during the three days of uh, school of ministry powerful like this? It's because my boss in the place of work has insisted I have to be working. So let me communicate with my leader in the department, in the other department, whoever, all my leaders, they have to know I didn't want to be there. That is loyalty. Loyalty is when the leader of the songs tells you we have practiced this song uh, this week. You pay attention to that. Kwanza pale kwa mtandao una akituma wimbo unaweka kidole ya kuonyesha nimeona. Ama unasema yes indeed. Unaona? Hata kuweka hii tu ama kuweka ile ya smile. For me I fear emojis. The only emoji I know to use properly is the one of this one. Hizo zingine na unaona kama zinaweza kunichanganya nikute nikute I'm communicating something else that I don't I didn't want to communicate. But at least respond. You are leader and we communicate something. Umeona na umesoma. Ujafanya kitu, hakuna kitu mesema. Yani nakaya kama ujasikia. Na, hauta kuja, hauta fanya, hauta practice your song. Na sandi unataka microphone kwa sababu you are normally very anointed. You know you are normally very anointed. After the 
ukichukua microphone unaanza ku scream Bwana Yesu Unasikia kama ni <laughs> Unasikia kama ni ni zile ni zile battery za zamani tulikuwa tunahubiri nazo Tulikuwa tunaenda crusade na batteries na tule to horn speaker to horn speaker tuwili na microphone tatu Alafu sasa battery inaenda ikiisha moto inaenda ikiisha moto Alafu sasa unafikia pale mwisho unasikia una mwibaje naimba Bwana Yesu Sasa unakaa kama ni battery inaisha moto Na ni kwa sababu you did not do what the leader of the department said Listen to this song practice this song come on Tuesday and on Saturday or Friday night we are pract- you did not do that and that is an element of disloyalty you did not practice you did not come you did not say anything and when you are told the following Sunday please because you did not practice let's give uh, sister Kanan who came for practice you begin to say these people they don't like me they are hating me this church is funny these people the the the, the leader is awkward he's you being used by the devil to kill my gift i will not allow anybody to kill my gift i am caught by god i was not caught by any man i go my way my friends you be surprised you can go like that that is disloyalty i hope you are getting it uh-huh. then those people who are always you know somebody who left church and he left under offense now we have no time to talk about offense would have would have loved to talk about offense so much somebody got offended the one i'm telling you who did not respond to the leaders invitation on 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 whatsapp did not come for practice mero de niwe ninatetea na sio niangalie vizuri kwa sababu niwe ninatetea kwa sababu najua ni mambo ile mnangangana nayo naona so alitoka hata alitoka kanisa na akiwa na maoffense Alafu sasa akiwa kule nje anakaa kushambulia makanisa na prison worship leaders na secretaries na pastors na makanisa. So leo ni Saturday anaweka kikitu kwa Facebook. Na kesho na kesho nyinyi ambao mnafanyaga namna gani anga nini 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 na wewe uko hapo unachangia unachangia una una encourage because you have the same spirit the same feathers. Yeah. When I want to know what spirit people have I I look at how they respond to negative comments on facebook you can easily tell ina hiyo kwanza kwanza loyalty disloyalty inachomaga watu hawezi akaficha ficha haifichagi hiyo kiwovu kinakaa kama kinachoma choma ndani kina kinasamaga lazima nitoke lazima niwaambie lazima wajue <laughs> naona i hope you are getting what i'm talking about yeah i can read something on facebook somebody's comment on a particular post i can somehow tell the heart of this person is like this all of us may we receive the baptism the baptism of the spirit of loyalty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ are you saying an amen to that hallelujah so we'll add something small let's see tomorrow is a great one don't miss tomorrow tomorrow we are having only one session we'll be concluding tomorrow we'll be commissioning it will be a great great session so from 7:30 and Diva to be here then by 10 we shall be done we we'll release those that are going back to Nairobi and other places Embu uh, a great moment indeed we appreciate all the pastors that have been coming let me request our uh, pastors my sons uh, JJV and every other ministry their associates i saw pastor Getonga and many others please let's appreciate this wonderful people Thank you so much. You have come in your big numbers. I appreciate. It. We can appreciate them in a big 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 way. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Seven things I have learned in the ministry. I've not been in ministry for a long time, but I think from 1995 to now. Those are how many years? About 30. So, some of the things that I've learned personally I've learned in the ministry there are seven of them maybe we can just pick we can try to speak on one tonight the seven things I have learned in the ministry number one I have learned this far that ministry is not a sprint it is marathon that is something I've learned over the years now I'm still learning that's not a long time 
But all the same, it's time you can learn something. About 30 years in ministry, you can learn something. So, so far, I have learned that ministry is not sprint. It is marathon. In the world of um, athletics, you have two kinds of races. Short races, sprints, and long races. And among the long races, you have marathon. Full marathon goes for 42 kilometers. Kenya is so much blessed. We've had world champions. Eliud Kipchoge, David Rudisha, Faith Keep Your Gone, Keep Your Gain, Keep Your Keep Your Gone, Keep Your Gone, and others. We have world records 42 kilometers. Well, we normally try to do the sprints 100 meters. But I think there we are not very, very much engraced to do sprints. But people like Jamaica, America, and others, they do well in those sprints. For example, Houston Boats. How many people have ever heard that name? Houston Boats. He does 100 meters. And for the sprints, it doesn't take hours. It takes seconds. Niliwambia ya kwamba unalipa pesa mingi ya kwenda kuangalia hizo 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 short races. Alafu naingia maybe you travel all the way from here to Nairobi. Or some people they even travel abroad. Let's say to Europe or whatever. And then when you are there, when these guys are on their marks before they get set, let's say Sahio, wako hapo, we umekuja all the way from Africa. I love to say me, uskia kujikuna mugu, Sahio, wako on their marks. Uiname kidogo, kujikuna. Ukiamuka hivi, wale wa jamaa walimaliza story. Kwa hivyo, we ulilipa pesa ya bure kwenda Europe. Walimaliza, because it is only like two seconds. They, they barely take three, sec three seconds. 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 It is called sprint. Like 100 meters. Where you have people like Houston Boats. I think we have our own who has been trying to, to succeed there. Is it Imanyara? Imanyara? And who else? Do you have any other? We have not yet produced many there. Those ones are called sprint. Short-lived, but require a lot of energy. But we are very good with the long races. Marathon. We even have schools of marathoners. As we speak right now, there are groups in Kenya that are being trained. Some of them are under 20, under 17, and teenagers are being trained. You go to uh, maybe Eldoret and other places there, Rift Valley, you find those schools. And marathon is enjoyable to watch because it gives you time when they could kuna na unainuka unakuta badu wanaendelea. So, value for your money. Yeah. You have time to sip and watch. You have time to, to answer a phone call from home and still you are watching. Marathon takes time. 42 kilometers takes time. Around two hours thereabout. It requires a lot of tact. It requires a lot of focus. It requires a lot of mo say momentum. Aha. Momentum is a key word when it comes to marathon. Pace setting and momentum. Momentum is the ability to keep at it. Ability to keep at it. So you choose your pace and you keep at it and you keep the focus 
You choose your pace and you keep at it. It is called momentum. You are not fluctuating like this. You are too fast. You are too slow. No. You choose your pace and you keep at it. Then you have calculations. By the time they do the last bell, you summon all your energies and anything called everything within you. You put it together. Everything, the bones, the mind, the eyes, the ears, the skin, the stomach, the intestine, the heart, the blood, the water inside of you. You summon them to concentrate to win. That is how Kenyans normally win. Have you been uh, desiring to do, to win those races and you are here? I have just given you the formula how to win those races. So now I send you to Olympics in Jesus mighty name. So I have learned that ministry is marathon. It's no sprint. Let's look at these few scriptures quickly then we will pray. Uh, are you saying an amen to that? Praise God. Luke chapter, Luke chapter 2, verse 36. Now, anything of value takes time. Do you know that? Even in the natural, anything of value takes time. Anything of value takes time. For example, in the world, the highest thing they know is um, scholarly degrees. Maybe a PhD. PhD will be one of the is the greatest achievement for any person on the face of the earth. If you're a PhD, PhD holder, the world recognizes that as a great, you, you're a great achiever. And the world would want to trust them, to trust you with their things. The more learned you are, the more degrees you are, they think you are such a great achiever, now they can entrust you with their companies, with their government, with their institutions. In the natural the most valuable things are things that normally take time. It takes time for you to get a bachelor's degree. It takes time. At least three years in uh, three years in Kabisa, ESCD, BD something. What do you call it? ECD. ECD at least three years. Then today, how many years in primary? How many years in primary? Nowadays, we have educationist Pastor Carol. How many years now in primary? Nine years. That is inclusive of Kepsea, uh, junior, and senior. Is it? Or senior is now up, up to grade nine. So those are three plus nine years. Those are 12 years. Then junior school is Senior, senior. Senior is how many? Three. So 12 plus 3, 15. We are still moving. Now the person has gone to university. University. How many years? Three. Those are how many years? 18. For you to have the first degree, you require at least 18 years. That is before you go for uh, induction, you are given any job. Yeah, that's why they begin to... Now you are permitted to knock doors of places. Before then you are not permitted. That's why when they are, when they are floating vacancies, they say um, qualification, bachelor's degree. That's where they start. That is to say, if you don't have that one, don't even knock our door. <laughs> so you need at least 18 years in school so that you can be permitted to knock the door so that they can check to see whether they can entrust you with their companies. Anything of value takes time. 18 years is no joke. Please tell your children so. <laughs> On the basic, and today, bachelor's degree is almost a basic level. There are so many bachelor's degree holders that they are just, they don't have uh, that wonderful job. They are still having the papers in their house. Tell your children that it takes time. Now for you to go higher, 
You need how many years for masters? At least eh? two to three years. You are making sense. Now for PhD, it takes how long? Three, and that is intensive. Some people did PhD for seven years, others for ten years. But if, it, if, if you are consistent and it very intensive on your side, about three. Those are how many? So there was 18 plus three. That is 20. 21 plus three. 24. So you need at least 24 solid year in class. Paper and pen. Teacher and student. Desk and books. Exam after exams. Assignments and homeworks. At least tell, tell your boy who is reporting to, for, to class one that he will be in this thing for the next 24 years if he wants to make sense in this life. So he should not be joking around. It is a marathon. <laughs> it is what? A marathon. But once he gets a PhD, you are making sense. People can, when you say, I'm a PhD holder, when they look at your papers, they think you have something you can say. Now they can allow you to, they can even invite you for interviews, whatever. Anything of value takes time. Things that don't matter, they don't take time. They are short-lived. They are just short-lived. I was trying to check and I discovered that kings that took time, they were kings for a long time. They were kings for a long time. They were able to do remarkable things in Israel. There's a gentleman called Uzziah. He was king for 52 years. Do you remember that guy? Uzziah was king in Ju was it, uh, and, and he was able to rule for 52 years. It is actually articulated what he did, his achievements. In this country, we have a big record for our former president, Blessed Memories, uh, President Kibaki. We say he built roads, he, he built what? Super highway, he brought uh, border borders. You remember that? Eh? We didn't have Buddha Bottas before. He brought, he brought, um, huh? Second had clothes. Huh? Free education. Huh? That's so what? Day secondary school. He restored Tibet. That, that was Mr. Kibaki. Okay. What about devolved system of higher learning? Universities in counties and places. Do you know before, in the time of the other regime, we had very, very few universities. When you, and if you had a B and above, you, you, need a, you really needed a B and a black and above for you to be sure that you are going to the university. There were very few, most of them in Nairobi. Like around here, we didn't have any. But... President Kibaki came up with a system that let's have devolved system of universities. Let's have universities in regions to encourage the citizens to be educated. And actually they said in 2030, that is a vision they had. It is there, you can just go and check, even on internet. One of the things that Mr. Kibaki had was by 2030, every Kenyan should be literate. Or at least a good percentage, you can check there, a good percentage should be literate. Knowing how to write and to read. Yeah. I hope you are getting it. Yeah. And, and he did. He reigned for how long? Ten years. Right? He was able to do his part. Ten years. We can see the roads. We, still, we are still enjoying the result of ten years of being the president. Right? In Israel, that guy that had uh, 52 years of reign in 2 Chronicles chapter 26, we are told about, he, we, he even invented a jeans. He's the one that invented a jeans. He's the one that came up with the concept of missiles. You know missiles? 
He's the one that came up with that. He even built apparatus that would throw stones. Stones on fire. Missiles. That concept is still at work today. We are using it today. So we are even told what he did. You can read it. Because he reigned for 52 years. 52 years you can do a lot. Then came Solomon. David also did 40. David did 40. David was also able to establish Israel. In 40 years, he went to the battles many times until he mastered the art of battle. Because he was doing one thing for a long time. Going to the battle and especially against one enemy called the Philistines. He went to the battles for so long that he mastered the battle so much until he said, the Lord has made me my hand. He has trained my heart to battle. His hand was trained. It had become like a battle axe, the hand. Are you getting? Then Solomon came in place. When Solomon came in place, he also had his 40 years of reign. 40 years of reign. Now for him, his calling was different. Was not to fight, but to build. He built things that were never built before. It takes time. When he had a long time of reigning, 40 years. 40 years, for example, 40 years in ministry, you're supposed to build things. That's what it means. You cannot be a pastor for 40 years and the church still does, is still in a rented small place. 40 years, what have you been doing? 40 years, Solomon is teaching us, by the time you're 40 years, you should have built a cathedral for God. Are you saying an amen to that? You should have lifted people's lives. The way I said, he made gold and silver common. Economy went high. Are you getting? Hmm. I hope you are getting that. So that is not, that is not sprint. It's, those are decades of focus. 52 years. 40 years. And see the results. We are still admiring the achievement. Ministry is marathon, not sprints. You will not do much if you are so much on fire, but only for one week. Even if you are a frame of fire, ata guwaza kutu namda zikicha muka moto. Ukiubidi na ukiimbisha. Moto. Moto! Tunasikia moto. But if it is only for one week, you will not have a lot of achievement. In fact, I'll show you some few things uh, shortly, then we pray. Now, look at uh, the book of Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, verse, verse 36. Tell yourself, I'm in this for a long time. Uh, tell yourself one more time, I am in this for a long time. Uh -huh. Come and loyalty, be in it for a long time. Come and giving, be in it for a long time. If it is pastoral, being in it for a long time. Now, let's go. And there was one Anna, are we there? A prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asa. She was of a great age and had lived with, a, with an husband seven years from her virginity. Now, let's say that she got married between, let's say between 20 and 30. Let's give her there. That's when maybe she got married. All right? And she was a widow of about four score and four years. 84 years now. Which, de which departed not from the temple, but served God. With what? Fastings and prayers night and day. Somebody say marathon. Can you see marathon there? Hmm? She is now 84 years. She has been serving. Let's say she was left at that. We can even give that to seven at most. She was married for seven years. So let's say she got married at 30. And we have really stretched. So... From 37 until she was 84 years. 
she is serving in prayers and fastings day and night and departed not from the temple. She was not missing to go swimming. But served God with fastings and prayers night and day. Now keep moving. And she coming in, in that instant, gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that looked for the redemption in Jerusalem. Keep moving. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own. Now this is a time, listen. This is a Jesus is presented in Jerusalem, in the temple. So Mtoto Yesu amekua presented in the temple. One of the persons that received Jesus was Anna. Now Anna was given an assignment to pray. To pray. Her ministry was pray until Jesus is born. I wish I had time I should show you that Jesus was not just born. There were things that made him to be born. Things were not just happening somehow. There had to be somebody pushing in the spirit. Pushing in the spirit. In prayer and fasting. That's why she prayed so much. And pushed it in the spirit. Maradon. Day and night. According to her calculation. Those are how many years? She was now at 84. We said maybe she got uh, uh, widowed at uh, 37. So those many years, those many years were years of praying and fasting, serving God that way. That is Maradon. And for Jesus to be born in the right lineage, and so that there can be the right woman, a virgin, who was married by the right man, Joseph. I don't know whether you are getting it. These were things that she was organizing in the spirit. She was organizing in the spirit. Because God has a big plan to save the world. But he needs Jesus to be born. And for him to be born, he had to be born in a particular way. By a virgin. And this virgin must be married to a Joseph kind of a man. Hey! Now, supposing, supposing because of lack of somebody praying and interceding and serving God that way. Let's say Mary was married to uh, Mr. Tomboka. Mr. Tomboka, <laughs> Mr. Tomboka is the kind, you tell him you are pregnant and he has not touched you yet. Ah, you mean you've been cheating on me like this? Number one, slaps. Number two, knife. Now you know how they are killing women nowadays. And then on the internet, or maybe on the internet, if it's a, if it's a bit lenient, on the internet, women are, are what? Are velocious wolves. They squander all your money, all your chicken, all your chips, and then finally only to tell you that She's pregnant with somebody called Holy Spirit. Ebu angalia, kama kama tu seme Joseph Mary amekuwa married na wajama wa leo wasikuhi. And then this man had to be a man that is not self gratifying and is not just man. Today, I know sex has been so much been glorified. Hallelujah. <laughs> it has been so much been glorified. Everything about a man and a woman must be sex. But do you know what? Joseph had not touched Mary in that season of betrothment. After after that, he discovers that this lady is pregnant and I'm not the one. He was a spiritual man to hear from God. It had to be, it had to take a Joseph who can hear God. Brothers that hear God. They don't just appear on the internet and Instagram. They are, they are, they are organized in the spirit by somebody praying day and night. 
Joseph must meet the right person. Mary must meet the right person. So that there is no mistake whatsoever. Go study that thing, by the way. Go study that thing. In fact, if you are interested, if you really want to get what I'm talking about, you will go all the way to so and so begat so and so. So and so begat so and so. So and so begat so and so. All the way to the time of Jesus. It makes sense. Somebody organized, he was organizing Joseph in prayer and fasting. Because it is a marathon. It was not a one day prayer. Joseph, after this woman conceived, did not touch her. Read your Bible. Joseph did not touch Mary until Jesus was born. It is in the Bible. It only takes somebody who did not just marry for sex. It's only a man that is in the spirit. Orchestrated, shaped. But it, it was what? Marathon ministry for Anna. So that Jesus can be born the right time. The right time. When Pilate is the king, when Herod is king on the other side, when circumstances are like that, it took somebody praying, Maradon, serving God, Maradon. Not one week, not one month, not one year. Everything of value takes time. Somebody took time in prayer. Took time until Messiah was born. Take time and you shall see what shall be born out of you will be a Messiah. Yeah, it will be a what? A Messiah. Something that can save. A ministry that can save people. A ministry, a gifting that is a blessing to people. May you give birth to a Messiah in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. A ministry that is saving cities and nations. Because you are in Maradon. On the same breath. On the same breath. Quickly please, if you don't mind. Look at, now let's look at another gentleman. Who traveled marathon ministry until Jesus was born. The guy was Simeon. Now verse 22, go back verse 22, verse 22, is it verse 25 rather? Let's go verse 25. Let's, there is so much. And behold, there was a man, are you there? And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. That means waiting for Redeemer, Jesus Christ. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Keep moving. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Wait, there's another one. That this guy has started a journey. He does not know when Jesus will be born, but... He must be in it as Maradon until when Jesus will be born. So he's not running an ordinary calendar that by the end of this month, by the end of this year, in two years' time, uh -uh, it was nothing like that. I am in it. I am in prayer until, until I have, the man even refused to die. If it will take, if it had taken another 1,000 years, the guy would have lived for a thousand years still in it. He's not even running an ordinary. It's like somebody starting a prayer, a prayer journey that he does. When are you going to finish this prayer journey? I don't know. I am just in it until God moves. Why, why are you doing this? Because it's a marathon thing. These are people that committed themselves. They were not saying, I am in this thing only for this one year. I'm only giving God three months. I'm only giving God six months. Mm -mm. Marathon, I'm in it. Anything of value in ministry takes time. It is marathon. It's not short race. Hebrews chapter 12. The Bible will say what? Seeing that we are surrounded by so many witnesses, let us lay aside every weight in verse 1. And the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with what? Patience. Marathon. Patience. Marathon. Let us run with patience. 
the race that is set before us hii kitu bwana ni marathon kama unataka kuwa muhutuma wa maana wa dhamana ambaye ako na future hii kitu it is not sprint hii kitu ni marathon patience in it set the pace and keep at it momentum momentum i told you of that whatsapp platform from 4c that was 30 years ago you did the calculation eh it could be from 1995 okay no no 94 95 it should be 90 92 from 1992 when i began my race of ministry 30 32 years so 32 years this young man has been there so until they are asked when i read the commentary you mean you are still in the same thing the same preaching the same ministry the last 32 years oh yes we started many maybe some of them are not there e safari tulianza kwa wengi lakini wengi wameenda wa give up wengine wakitoroka wengine wakikimbia wengine story ya pesa wengine kukejeriwa wakaona ni afadhali waondoke lakini wale ambao tumebakia ikiwa marathon tukiwa na patience we have something to show at least that you are listening to me you are something to show you 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 are something to show be in it for a long time yeah be in it for a long time mentorship be in it for a long time loyalty be in it for a long time prayer be in it for a long time for you to successfully see the results of prayer you must do it for a long time not short lived you may pray for 24 hours on, only for one day in a whole year it is wonderful but it is not good you will not see results in fact if the devil knows you are sprinting he will not even challenge you he will just wait for where you will stop because he knows very soon you are stopping and that's why churches are the most great they are the greatest enemy of the kingdom of darkness churches when you plant a church do you know what it means to plant a church it means devil i have come in this city i am here to stay <laughs> that is what it means you can do a crusade you can go to a city do a crusade one 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 week and disappear the devils will only move away by the way did you learn listen to this, that when when moli sarulo was preparing for a meeting for a meeting let's say he's coming to kenya nairobi mori sarulo demons territorial demons pastor kitonga then it was said that those demons territorial demons would stay for at least seven months after mori sarulo had done a meeting they would stay away from that city for seven months then after seven months wanaanza kunyemerea pole pole wanaanza kunyemerea wanaanza kunyemerea alafu sasa wanarudi after seven wanaanza ku influence watu dio na shangaga after after somebody like um, pastor benahim niaje bado tunaendelea na ile maisha yetu ya kawaida naona lakini kama ni kanisa sasa inakaa kama hiyo anointing ya pastor benahim na iko hapo hakuna mali inaenda iko hapo kila sunday kila wiki kila siku tuko hapo tunaendelea hiyo itakuwa very devastating to the devil's kingdom That's what it means to plant a church. Do you know that the devil hates church planting because it's a declaration of permanency. We are here to keep on dealing with you every day, every Sunday, every morning, and especially for us that preach almost every day. Because that's you you are declaring marado. It is not a hit and run. Now, Hamas. How many people have ever heard that name Hamas? Hamas attacked Israel. That was October Was it it was it 10th or 7th 7th October 7th The first thing the prime minister of Israel announced we did not start this war we did not start this war they started a war this war but we are the ones to finish this war and it is going to be a long time battle that is what he said he said it is going to be a long time battle up to this hour prime minister netanyahu 
he's now contending with America because America is trying to tell, hey, it has been too long. Then Netanyahu is, no, 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 no. We still have, is it Rafa? Set a Rafa to invade. We are still in need because anything of value takes time. If you just hit them like this for one week, they are already underground. They will just germinate again after you are gone. But if you take time to locate them, to uproot them, to dislocate them, to disconfit them, and you are in it, when they are trying to run this way, tomorrow they find you are still there, you are still pursuing, you are still pursuing on air, on land, in the street, wherever. Eventually you are going to finish them. By the way, as you are speaking right now, America is not happy with Israel. They were supporting Israel before, but now they are not that much. We are likely to see something. And Israel and America has been a long time Israel ally. But because of Netanyahu remaining in the battle, Maradon, and Joe Biden is feeling like, no, no, it was not supposed to be this long. It was supposed to be a sprint. Just hit them for one month, two months. But that is what they have been doing everywhere. Netanyahu knows you have to be in it for a long time. It's located. May we receive the grace for serving God for a long time. The grace of serving God for a long time. The grace of God of serving God for a long time. Receive the grace in Jesus' mighty name. If you want to be a wonderful musician, gospel musician, minister, it's not one one time thing. That's why if it is practicing, you practice your lifetime. The best bass guitarist that was best bass guitarist in the world was Mr. Abraham in the days of Ron Kenori. Even the secular musicians, they feared him. But the man was waking up every day and he would be on practice on bass guitar seven hours. And by this time he's an old man. He has been in it for a long time. I've been telling you that Apostle Moses told us that he went to America to preach then the man that was playing the keyboard, he was 90 years. 90. He did not start doing it at 90. He started when he was a young man. What is it he does not know about that keyboard? Look at uh, Don Moen. Don Moen. Don Moen is not, a young, is not a youngster. He has been in it for a long time doing it. I am not, I'm, I'm not sure whether there is a key. Major. Eh? Minor, G7, G17, even the argumented courts. You know, there are, are courts that are, they are on argument. They are still debating whether it is minor or sharp or whatever. Argumented courts. Pastor Gilbert, you understand these things? Even them, he has mastered them. He touches the keyboard like this. You feel the atmosphere. <laughs> Me, me, I trained keyboards. Me, you are seeing here. But mine was print. It was on necessity because there was nobody else to do the keyboard then. I just went and asked. I looked at somebody who was doing. I think it is it F. What? Even now, I don't know what exactly I mastered in. I don't know what I mastered in. I majored on. It was F major. Ten, 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 ten. That time we had Casio. Is it Casio? Eh? And if every song, if you are the one to join me, I should not be the one following you to join you. You must be very anointed to join me there. So every song, even if it is not, okay, it will just be forced to fit there. Now I can tell you frankly, for me, I did not continue. So even to this day, the best I can do is that my F major. Ten, 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 ten. So, so me, I majored on that. That was my specialization. I hope you get what I'm talking about. But those people that have been in it, you, they follow you where you are going. When you raise the transpose, they go along with you. When you raise the pitch, they know how to go. When you change the key, they will even help you to navigate. They can even collect you when you are just about when they can somehow collect you with that thing because they have been there for a long time. 
Loyalty, serving God. For example, we have some of the people that have, have been in loyalty for a long time, working under another man. Nothing is pushing them to be founders and pioneers. You have heard of uh, Bishop, um, Bishop Abioe. He has been in submission under Bishop Oyedepo. All the way from the beginning. As long as that ministry has existed, it has not reduced him. He has only mastered how to be great working under someone. He's a great personality as we speak. These are people when they walk in a plane like this, cruise, they will see another person following them. One day Bishop, Bishop Abioye entered to a plane like this and then there was another person following him. Not physical person. The crew, akaona huyu mtu mingine anamfuat huyu akiondoka naona naenda na kama and he asked who is this that is following you like this and bishop abio knew that is an angel he's a big name today he has been in it for a long time iki tu ya pastor nimekuja hapa nataka unimente alafu 6 months you want church ifunguliwe unataka kutumwa unataka kuanza kufungua makanisa unataka kufanya vitu unataka kuwa founder of a ministry Hey, we have not even finished whatever you presented. You presented a CV of one paper. We are not yet through. We are still reading. Before we are done, we are not seeing you. You have already gone. You want to be lifted and promoted. The spirit of sprint shall not follow you from here. Receive the grace for patience. And patience is not staying in it just like that. No, it's doing what you're supposed to do consistently, continually doing it. That's why we preach the messages. We don't stop preaching them. We don't just get one hot message and throw it and that is it. That's why we you see we keep on revisiting from another angle. We are still preaching about it but from another angle. It's the same message but from another angle. Some of the messages here we have preached ever since we began the ministry. For example the message of faith. We keep on preaching about it in many angles. It is the same message. It's the same emphasis. That's why there are testimonies. I declare and declare somebody here. Receive grace in Jesus' mighty name. Receive grace in Jesus' mighty name. Now ladies and gentlemen, there was a king in Israel. He only ruled for seven days. Zimri. That's why you don't even know him. His name was Zimri. Seven days. Do you know him? You didn't even know him, Zimri. Seven days before you realize he has gone, he has gone out. He has come and checked out. Checked in and checked out. There is no record of his achievements. There is no record of what he did. You can't compare him with Solomon. You can't compare him with Uzziah. Somebody say, I am in this thing for a long time. Say louder, I am in this thing for a long time. I am in this thing all the way. I will not back off. I will not give up. I will not stop now. I will not discontinue. I am in it for a long time. I receive the grace. The grace of a Maradona. The grace of a Maradona. I will run my race with patience. With patience. I will run my race. I will do ministry with patience. Kayata yaka yaka. Edo Sata, lift up your hands and pray. Somebody pray. Lift up your hands and pray. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Mando Babela Sovaya. Lift up your hands and pray. You can conquer that you are sitting here. If you can, can commit yourself to patience, you can conquer that department. Uh, you can become, you can be excellent. If you can give yourself holy, if you can give yourself holy, somebody lift up your hands, receive the grace uh, for patience, for Maradona. Be in it for a long time. Base tale zaga raka taba rakata. Base sata sekata. Base telile kedila. 
Pray, 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 pray somebody. There is something that I've been telling you to quit. There is something that I've been telling you to stop. There is something that I've been telling you you should just continue. You must overcome it right now. Anything that wants to shorten your ministry, let it die right now. Anything that wants to shorten your commitment and your sacrifices, yes, you must overcome it right now. Let it scatter. You are unstoppable. Receive the grace of a Maradona. Receive the grace of running the rest with patience. In the mighty name of Jesus, Sadadosa, Bashakatatata, Rakatata Bayata, Rikatata, Rikabakaya, Bibe Belosa, Belotata, Rakaya Kataya. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Pray for the grace. 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 Receive the grace. The grace of being in it for a long time. Continuing on the way, you will not be stopped. You will not be haunted. You will not be discontinued. You will not be delayed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Somebody pray more intensity. With more intensity right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that wanted to uproot you from the ministry, from your kingdom service, let it die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that wanted to stop you from serving God with patience, let it die. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say, I am in it for a long time. Say it louder, I am in it all the way. I must get it or get it. I cannot stop now. I cannot be discontinued now. Hmm. Let's go. Can you see it? Galatians 6, 9. And let, let's read all of us. Let's go. And let us not be weary in well doing. Now, is ministry a well doing? Is doing ministry a well doing? Is prayer a well doing? Is evangelizing a well doing? Is fasting a well doing? Is tithing a well doing? Is sweeping the church a well doing? Is singing the choir a well doing? Is teaching Sunday school a well doing? Hmm. And let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall do what? Reap if we faint not. Now, if you are a quitter, you are a fainter, you are one that gets weary. The devil will not even mind you. He'll just wait you at the point of where you normally get weary. Ah, we are Nanzara Mwaka na moto na moto. Tunaju ata kiosho migu. Ah, by February, yeo inakuwa imeisha. Wacha, ata usimusubue January, mkoje tu hapa February. Hai ndi bagi. Anakoje tu wake wake, upike kerele, upike kerele. Wanasama tadi kerele unapika. Ukifika hapa February, umejimaliza we mwenye hakuna, hakuna nguvu, hakuna moto. You are not going to be that kind of a person. Somebody catch fire here and keep the fire. Somebody catch the fire and keep the fire. Somebody catch the fire and keep the fire. Fire of prayer, fire of fasting, fire of praying in tongues. In the mighty name of Jesus, catch the fire and keep it. Pray one more time. You shall not be weary. You shall not be weary. You shall not be weary. We rise against the spirit of weariness. Against the spirit of weariness. The spirit of fainting. We shall not faint on the way. We shall not grow weary. We refuse to grow weary. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. Now read that verse again. And let us not wait. You can even stop, post there. Let us not. So weariness and fainting is something you let or let not. It's a choice. You can let yourself to be weary. You can let not yourself to be weary. So weariness is not something that jumps on you. It is something you have let. If you are weary already, it's because you let it. If you are not going to be weary, it's because you did not let it. So it is a choice again. Say in the name of Jesus. 
I make a choice not to let weariness. I make a choice not to let fainting. I, I declare, I disallow fainting and growing weary. It's not post my portion. Clap your hands and engage one more time. Basay tata basaka basaka takata bakara kataya rakada kataya rakada kataya rakata kataya. We shall not let weariness. We shall not let fainting. We shall not let fainting in ministry. Fainting is not our portion. Giving up is not our portion. Growing weary is not our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, zakata baya zaka raka. Rekato Sata Brakasekelia Rekatatara. We cut the fire of ministry. We shall not weariness. We cut the fire of prayer. We shall not let weariness. We cut the fire of giving and serving God. We shall not let weariness. We cut the fire of ministry. Serving God as pastors. We shall not let weariness. We shall not be weary on Monday. We shall not be weary on Tuesday. We shall not be weary on Wednesday. We shall not be weary on Thursday. We shall not be weary on Friday. We shall not be weary on Saturday. On Sunday, we shall not be weary. We shall not be weary on January. February, we shall not be weary. March, we shall not be weary. April, we shall not be weary. May, we shall not be weary. June, we shall not be weary. July, we shall not be weary. August, we shall not be weary. September, we shall not be weary. October, we shall not be weary. Yes, November, we shall not be weary. December, we shall not be weary. 10 years from now, we shall not be weary. 20 years from now, we shall not be weary. 30 years from now, Jesus tarries. 15 years from now, we shall still be on fire. On fire serving Jesus. On fire serving God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bahrain, Zakadaka. Clap your hands one more time. Ignite the fire that will not go down. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Bazekota, Rakata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, one of the things we know that something is genuine and of God is durability. I have no time to explain this, but in Acts chapter 5, in Acts chapter 5, the apostles, disciples were arrested at some point and they wanted to kill them. But there stood a man of wisdom called Gamaliel and he said, men and brethren, leave these people alone. We have living examples here. Somebody came here and he had a big following. He had at least 400. And he was posting like he's a big man. But he was short-lived. He died and his ministry scattered. Nobody fought him. Just wearing it. When he was finished, everything got finished. He did not go long. There was another guy also. He had a big name. He was short-lived. Then Gamaliel advised them. These apostles, if this thing they are doing is of God, you cannot stop them. They will be here for a very, very, very long time. You can, if it is of God, if it is authentic, because duration and durability hmm, manifest what? Authenticity. If it is genuine, it's supposed to be there for a long time. Your ministry, it should be there for a long time. Please come to the altar if you don't mind. I think, I think as a oh shalaba. Even those that are with us on, I don't discontinue. This is a catch moment. This is a catch moment. This is a catch moment. It is a catch moment. It's a catch moment. Let me have the pastors. Let me have the pastors on the altar. Please let me have the pastors on the altar. Basakara bagada bala bagada bala bagada bala. Raka. Begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Zika la la baha. Rika tala bala bagada bala bagos. Rika la la baganda. It's okay. This one can remain. Rika la. Lift up your hands and begin to pray. Basala bala bagada bala. Lift up your hands. Somebody receive an impartation and grace. 
Somebody receive an impartation and grace. Somebody receive an impartation and grace. Somebody receive an impartation and grace. Somebody receive an impartation and grace. Somebody receive an impartation and grace. Everybody tonight, you are receiving something. Everybody tonight, you are receiving something. You are receiving something. Lift up your hands. Don't allow yourself to go out the same way you came. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zaga daga daga daga. Rakata taba rakata. Basata taba rosa bakaya. Braso baka rakata karakata. Rakata taba rakalakata. Basata ta rakata. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. You shall be a fountain that never runs dry. Lift up your hands, somebody, and prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall be a fountain that never runs dry. In the mighty name of Jesus, you catch a fire, you catch a flow that you shall keep a data. Ten years from now, you shall be stronger than the way you are. Twenty years from now, you shall be traceable, visible, and imposing. In the mighty name of Jesus, your ministry cannot be killed. Your ministry cannot be discontinued. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of God keep on burning in your life. Baro Zaga Taka Rakata Parakata Pastor Sender, ministers of the gospel, we shall be on fire for God. Yes, in prayer, yes, in fasting, yes, in the word, yes, in evangelism. The fire you have for evangelism should not die. Even when you are not bad, it should continue. The fire of teaching God's word. We shall be adorned in the flesh of the devil. We shall trouble the demonic kingdom because we are committed in it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baro Zaga Rata Raka Raka Basa Tataraba Raka Tata Ragadaga Rekata Taboa Rekata Karaka Rekata Kataya Rekata Kataya Pastor, don't allow weariness. Not weariness of the spirit. Not weariness of the body. Not weariness of the mind. Not emotional weariness. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall keep on refiring. You shall be relevant and impacting. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bako Saka, Bata Tata, Rakataya, Rakazaka, Rakatakata, Rakadakata, Rakazakata, Rakadakata. You can only become better because the part of the judgment is like a shining light that shines more and more. You can only shine brighter. You will not go deeper. You will not do it harder. You will not be covered. You will not lose intensity. You shall increase in intensity in the mighty name of Jesus. By your tata rokaya, rakata, rakata. Your visions will not die. Your revelations will not die. But will increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody catch something in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether you are going to be in America, whether you are going to be in Australia, whether you are going to be in Asia, whether you are going to be in any part of Africa, the fire of God, the fire of serving God. Now you are in high school, but the fire of God upon you, even at old age, shall be visible, shall be imposing. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody catch something now. Bayatata, Rakata, Rakata. Zagata, Zakata Tata, Zakamakata, Zakata Kata, Zakabakaya, Zakatakaya, Zakatakata, Zakabakaya, Zakatalota, Masovakaya, Ilesa, Irekletoya, in Jesus, greatest mighty name. Whatever that was out to kill your ministry, we kill it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever that was about to stop your ministry, we stop it right now. Whatever that has vowed to discontinue your gifting and your revelation, we vow to discontinue that thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Pastors receive, receive an anointing. For your ministry, receive an anointing, 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 
Receive an anointing. Receive an anointing. Receive an anointing. Karabalabaka. Rakatata fire. Rakatakata. Rekete kete keta. Beste kete kete la. Rekosa. Bezeka. Tela tata. Rikatabaha. Rikete lebla. Rikele begedia. Every one of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Every one of you receive. Pare sata. Pase kata. Pase kata. Pasa. Rekete ketela. Rekeze ketela. Rekeze ketela. Let this ministry be on fire. On fire for Jesus. From now onward. Until the return of Christ. 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 Bakatakatata. Bazakatakaya. Rakatataraka. Let this ministry be on fire. On fire for Jesus. Until the return of Christ. Until the return of Christ. Until the return of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baye, bake, bake. Bake, bake, balela. Rakatata. Rakadakata. Ragadagata. 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 Ragata. Rakata Bahash. Baze tate la dea. Baze tate la deca. Bare se gede gera. Baze ketele hela. Here tetela. Here ketelenos. Horia balatas. Heria belekelas. Heria bezekela. Heria ba antra. Heria belato. Heria belaka. Heria telato. Heria belato. Somebody receive. Somebody receive. Somebody receive an anointing. Somebody receive an anointing. Somebody receive an anointing. An anointing. An anointing for your ministry. Barriers are broken. Valleys are raised. Mountains are lowered. Crooked person made straight. Away in the desert. Away in the wilderness. Rocks produce water. Bayakataka. Rakataka. Rakatahaya. Rakabakaya. Reketekela. Rekatata. Rakatata. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet if you can. Lift up your hands. Please take care. You that have a child. Oh, hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Oh, Jesus. The Lord shall make you listen. I hear in my spirit. The Lord shall make you a fountain. A fountain that never dries up. A fountain that continues to generations. The Lord shall make you a fountain. A fountain that never dies off. A fountain that never dries up. A continuous fountain. Some of you, the ministry that God has put in you, generations in the even after you shall be drinking from your wells. For out of their berries shall flow rivers of living waters. It shall be a fountain that shall flow to generations. The first decade, the second decade, the fifth decade, even to centuries if Jesus tarries. Receive in the name of Jesus the fire of intercessory. The fire of intercessory shall never die from you. Not, not even offenses. Not, listen, listen, listen. Not even offenses. Because offense is one of the things that discontinue people's ministry. Somebody was very fiery, but an offense just came. And his ministry just died. That shall never be your portion. That shall never be your portion. That shall never be your portion. Receive grace to stay put. Receive grace to stay put. Karabakaya. Quickly organize yourselves. If, I've, if we have not anointed you, please. Those that you have already anointed, it's okay, you can go back. But those that you have not anointed, please organize yourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zikatabaha. Rikalabalaba. Zikalalabagadas. Rikalalabagade. Zikalalabagadas. Rikalalabagadas. Zikalalabagadas. Rikalalabagade. Zikalalabagadas. Rikalalabagade. Zikalalabagade. Rikalalabagade. Zikalalabagade. Zikalalabagade. Rikalalabagade. Zikalalabagade. 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 Zikalalabagade.
Somebody be filled with the Holy Ghost and the power of God in the name of Jesus. Su Hashem, O Rabba, So Haso Hada, Elege, Zeke, 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 Baratala la la bando diglas, e la bando lo busa tanda baya, basa kando banso banso granda, bela te te le kregendo tofra, belo santo te la branda danda la gadaya, rakatata baraga diba, diba, rakatala bagada bagada baga, rakatala bagada bagada. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Saroha, bale taro zada rada. Bala haza katala baha rekatabash. That they are going to be a change. That they are going to be a transformation. That they are going to be deposit of the things of God to realize your ministry, to realize your calling, to realize your calling, your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Abaha he la da 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 gato. Basi te karaka. Basa karabaha Somebody lift up your hands wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Hey, the cash, Hada. Hey, Rabba, Hada. Hey, Rabba, Hada, 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 Gada. Hey, Rabba, Hada, Hada, Gada. Yay! Kata, ta, ta, ta. Pando, Tarukra, Samra, Andros. Him, the grace of her. Hey, Retele, Kele, Kele, Kela. Hey, Reketele, Gede, Gede, Gede. Hey, Rekele, Kete, Kele, Kele. Hey, Re, Muk, 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 Muk. Baro shada talagada gada. Yes, lift up your hands, somebody. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! 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 <laughs> Be filled with the power, with the grace. Akabo kahaya baratala bagada bagada bagadaga rakata tarakata labanda rekete telekete lekela rekete telekete gede gede ya. Come, 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 come again. Oh, Rabba, baby, let it take it, take it, take it. Rika Talofanto Toledo goes. Oh, Ria Belandra Tandrila Soba. Brekosa To Shandrigla. Hila Branso Vanso Ganda Genda. Bela Genda Tenge Zeketela. Here again the Tele Grendo Vanso. Base the Kendo Huge Greta. Here a Blanso Vrantro Tura Blanda. Here a Gleso Tanda Blasia. Here a Begays of Ahaya and Daha. Somebody lift up your hands and pray in the spirit. You receive an impartation tonight. You receive a grace tonight. You receive an empowerment tonight. To keep the fire burning, it is marathon. You are in it for a long time. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands everywhere. Karabahaya. Karabashakata. Whatever ministry that is in you, it is hereby released in the name of Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha! Whatever ministry that is in you, whatever ministry that is in you, locked inside of you, it's, it is now released to be a fountain. It is now released to be a fountain, to flow like a fountain, an ever ending fountain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and worship the Lord. Magnify Him. You can wave your hands in this presence right now. Hura Bahaya. Hura Bahashakata. And there is nobody under this atmosphere who was said to be sick that carries sickness anymore. Every servant of God, 
you are delivered from that sickness from now whatever the disease whatever the sickness whatever the ailment it is hereby now uprooted from the roots from the bones from the blood even from the cells in the mighty name of Jesus cancer has no power over you diabetes has no power over you pneumonia and COVID have no power over you HIV meningitis has no power over you strokes and arthritis have no power over you blood infections and stomach infections have no power over you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus you shall be a fountain that never ceases you shall be a fountain that never runs dry you shall be a fountain you shall be a fountain that never runs dry you will not wither you are the planting of the lord planted by the riverside your leaves will never wither you shall produce every season of your life it shall never be said he used to be powerful it shall be said he is now more powerful at 70 years if jesus tarries you will still be you will still be active in ministry active with results active with results every church that is represented here begin to bust your walls with increase in numbers in the mighty name of jesus pastors that are here by this anointing and this authority i send you to go and capture your cities capture your cities for jesus capture your cities for jesus subdue your cities for jesus with the gospel that god has put inside of your heart take over that city take over that region take over that county take over the nations by the gift of god that god has put in you the gift of ministry your gift begin to influence a generation your gift begin to influence a generation your gift begin to influence a generation somebody will sing a song a song shall be relevant 10 years from now 20 years from now because you shall be a fountain a fountain that never runs dry receive the grace receive the grace ministry terminators ministry terminators in the realm of the spirit scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire no discouragement that shall kill your ministry no offense shall kill your ministry no any happenings that shall destroy your ministry you shall keep on moving i see you stronger i see you stronger your path is a path of the just you shall say just like caleb as i was 40 years ago now i am 85 years i'm still taking territories i am strong as i was and as your days shall be so shall thy strength be you shall not dwindle in power you shall not dwindle in influence you shall not dwindle in power you shall not dwindle in relevance receive the grace in jesus name you are indispensable by the grace of god and the anointing of god in the mighty name of jesus you shall speak to your generation and to generations after you in the name of jesus listen give me the anointing oil in a bottle please 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 be quickly all the churches of ggv wherever they are open those that are already existing and those shall be planted every church that is planted in any town in any city in any county in any nation in any region of the world those churches shall continue until the coming of jesus jesus shall rapture men and brethren from those churches 
all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus every TGV ministry shall abound in strength shall receive cities and territories in the mighty name of Jesus lift up your gates all lift up your heads all you gates lift up your gates all you heads now lift up your heads all you gates that now the commission of GGV may enter to bring the gospel as the light and a covenant in the mighty name of Jesus every ministry that is presented here all the churches represented here they will never close the doors they will never close the doors they will never shut down they will never cease to be here they will continue in relevance and power and anointing Jesus shall find them Jesus shall rapture them in the mighty name of Jesus right now we receive a grace to speak to the young generation to speak even to our children to speak even to the children in our womb the anointing and the grace that is at work in our lives even the children yet unborn they shall be influenced by this grace they shall be influenced by this anointing in the mighty name of Jesus now lift up your hands every altar of the kingdom of God that is represented here you gain momentum and power in the realm of the spirit there is no other altar that can withstand you when you enter to the territory of witches you shall subdue them you shall subdue them you shall subdue them when you enter to a territory of Freemasons and Illuminati you shall subdue them when you enter to the territory of Antichrist the altar and the ministry that God has given you shall take over in the mighty name of Jesus we declare right now in the realm of the spirit every ministry has an open heaven to acquire land to acquire land to acquire land to acquire land to acquire more 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 land every ministry that is represented here oh yes your ministry has the grace to acquire vehicles to acquire vehicles to acquire vehicles to acquire vehicles to acquire instruments instruments of excellence in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father thank you Lord miracles shall never cease healing shall never cease deliverance shall never cease miracles shall never cease deliverance shall never cease healing shall not cease deliverance shall never cease receive you the power I call you fathers and mothers of thousands I call you fathers and mothers of thousands you be called pastors of thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord lift up your hands and thank God if you believe it right now glory to God glorify him 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even those that are with us online, on radio, you receive your healing. You receive your deliverance. People, there is somebody that your right ear is not hearing. Wherever you are right now, I speak God's healing power right now. Receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. I see somebody with arthritis. 
receive strength in your bones and begin to stand and to walk in the name of Jesus tumors disappear thank you father thank you lord and I bless your homes and I bless your household and I bless the works of your hands as you be returning to your center you are blessed all round as you return to your center you are blessed all round you are blessed all round under this atmosphere I want you to consider a worthy sacrifice right now under this atmosphere approach this altar with a sacrifice now let it be don't make it an offering make it a sacrifice make it a sacrifice because let me tell you men and women of God our ministries require financial abundance like never before this anointing is carried on kingdom prosperity every one of us even those that are with us online and also on radio if you can do one million you can just do it right now if you can do a hundred thousand just do it right now if you can do fifty thousand just do it right now if you can do ten thousand make it a sacrifice five thousand whatever that is going to be sacrificial let the Lord see you have raised your faith the anointing that we have received and no doubt we have received it must be carried on kingdom prosperity just in case you need to use the number you maybe you want to use your bank card we start there we have we have the POS machine just lift up your hand somebody is going to come and serve you if you need to use your bank card those that are with us online on radio comfortably don't be left behind don't just type amen type amen and raise your faith by an offering because that is the way of God you can comfortably use the MPSA platform we have the till number which is 83 78 98 the till number 83 78 98 for those that are with us on radio and also online you are saying you have received from the Lord raise now your faith by this sacrifice the till number is 83 78 98 please don't just do an offering are they asking for another offering let me just do like I normally do take it to a level of sacrifice let the Lord see that according to the much that you have received, you have received, you have responded in the same manner in matters faith. There is somebody that is walking out of financial bondage right now. Let me tell you, when the anointing comes, one of the dimensions that it comes to deal with is the issue of poverty, lack and failure. This thing of opening business and closing down is not yours anymore. This thing of today up, tomorrow down financially it is not your portion this thing of debts impossible debts that are all over is not your thing the till number there is 83 78 98 98 please lift up your offering or your right hand in the mighty name of Jesus father we give you praise we give you the glory we give you adoration. We accept the anointing that you have given us. All the way since we began. By speaking to us. By imparting on us. Now we accept the grace of kingdom prosperity. This anointing shall be carried through kingdom prosperity. Because you have said that your city shall be spread abroad through prosperity. Nobody shall remain where they are financially. Amen. Whatever that was not working in your life financially, we declare from this hour it is activated. Amen. As you begin to work next week, 
May those contracts go through in Jesus' mighty name. May those transactions be done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May new doors of kingdom prosperity happen to you in the name of Jesus. I call your money from within and from without. Somebody that has never received dollars, begin to receive dollars in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody that has never received a five-digit figure, receive and behold in Jesus' name. Somebody that has never received a six-digit figure, receive as your own in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody that has never received a seven-digit and behold, receive from now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. And we declare, listen, under this anointing, your monies are not permitted to be diverted to emergencies. Your money shall not go to the wrong places. No more any man to be able to con you in the name of Jesus. You shall not invest where you are going to lose anymore. You shall not buy what is not there in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You shall not waste your energies. People shall not refuse with your monies. They borrowed money from you. They shall not refuse with your money anymore. I call back your monies. Wherever your monies are stuck. I call back your monies. Let your money come back in the name of Jesus. You shall not have dead stock anymore. Every item in your business begin to sell in the name of Jesus. May you experience what is beyond business management. Because trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. You go beyond business management. It is supernatural abilities of God at work in your life. Your children shall not be wasted. Your substance shall not be wasted. You shall not die before your time. You are covered from accidents. You are covered from diseases. You are covered from floods. You are covered from fires. You are covered from knives and bullets. You are covered from the evil eye. In the mighty name of Jesus. I have seen you today. I shall see you next year at a time like, like now. You shall be many times better than now. Thank you, Father. Somebody say, I will never be poor. Say louder, I will never be poor. I declare, I am a well-watered garden. I am the garden of the Lord. Young people that are in college or about to go to college, you are wondering where the money is going to come from. The Lord is actually assuring you now that he's the one to educate you. The Lord shall educate you. The Lord shall. People here, they shall receive scholarship in the name of Jesus. People here, they shall receive scholarships in the name of Jesus. Some of you, I'm sending you to abroad to go and study and become. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. One of the things again you are going to receive is calmness. Somebody say calmness. Say louder, calmness. No matter what is happening around you, you shall be calm. Because be still and know I am God. God give you calmness no matter what you are handling. Then number two, God give you a gift called the gift of access. That is, any door you approach, you have something called the gift of access. Doors open. Number three, the Lord give you something called favor. Favor, favor. The moment they see your face, they shall say you are the right person. God give you favor. The moment they see your documents, they will agree to what you desire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Somebody before the end of this month receive a promotion. Receive a promotion. Receive a promotion. 
those people that work with targets, this man and this year, you keep on breaking the targets, going beyond the targets. They have given you some targets, you shall go beyond those targets. Exceedingly, abundantly above, the Lord shall do in your life. Another gift that God is going to give you is a gift of sound sleep. Somebody says sound sleep. You shall not be interrupted in your dreams, in your visions, in your sleep. When you go to sleep, it shall be a healthy sleep. Whether it is several hours or just few hours. By the time you wake up, you are replenished physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. In the name of Jesus. Pastors, stress is not anywhere near you. I say stress is not anywhere near you. Stress is not anywhere near you. We shall never bury any pastor by depression. No depression of any one of us. No depression of any one of us. No depression of any one of us. No depression. Just, just, just allow her. Just let her. No depression of any one of us. No depression of any one of us. No depression of any one of us. Leave her now. Leave her. In Jesus' mighty name. Leave her now. I say no depression anymore in your life. No depression anywhere in your life. No depression anywhere in your life. No depression. Let, just let her. Just let her. It's done. No depression anywhere in her life. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and give thanks. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just come to the altar. I think that today we can just come and put it here. Just put it here. If you have, you have used the phone, you can do like Rev has done. Just walk to the altar and Karaba Shalabagada. Karaba Shalabah. Mambo. Makubwa. Zaidiya. Ni Omabia. Unaweza kufanya Unaweza kutenda Mambo Makubwa Zaidi Unaweza Lift up your hands. Makubwa zaidi ya Unaweza unaweza kufanya. Unaweza kutenda mambo. Makubwa of you, you are carrying healing power. Go and heal the sick. 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 I declare the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. They are called gifts because people are normally given. They are called gifts. And God uses his messengers to release those gifts. Receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I say receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Some of you, you begin to walk in words of knowledge. Words of wisdom. Discerning of spirits. The gift of faith. Gift of faith. Pastor Patrick, gift of faith. Gift of faith. Apostle Sam, gift of faith. Gift of faith. 
Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Authentic prophecies. I said authentic prophecies. Authentic prophecies. Authentic, authentic prophecies. Receive in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you will enter into rooms that are heavily demon vested. By your entrance like this, demons will scatter running for their life. If you enter a bus that is accident bound, that devil that was sent, even if there is a devil's agent inside, the activities will be immediately be paralyzed. 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 Gifts of the Holy Spirit. There is somebody right now. The Lord just healed you. The back. Something about your back. The Lord just healed you right now. There was a challenge with your back. The Lord just healed you right now. Something to do with the discs. Something to do with the discs. The Lord just healed you right now. How many people believe it? Jesus, we thank you. We glorify you. I bless this, your servants. From whichever ministry, my sons and my daughters, I bless them now. I pray they shall enjoy serving you. Even in the times of challenges, they will still enjoy serving you. Oh, mighty God, give them long life. Give them long life. Give them long life. All that you prepared for us in this conference, Jesus, we receive. Jesus, we receive. Even what we have said and what we have not said, Jesus, we receive. All that you prepared for us in this conference, mighty God, we receive. I bless my sons and daughters. I bless them. This shall be a great year for them. By the time we come to December, numerical increase in every church. Spiritual increase in every church. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you. Take a moment to thank God. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those that are with us online, receive the grace. Receive the grace right where you are. Even those that are with us on radio, right now in your house, let the house be full of the grace of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Somebody give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus is worthy. Let's celebrate the Lord is worthy. He's worthy. Jesus, you're worthy. Jesus, we give you the glory. For speaking to us, Lord. Somebody celebrate the Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' glory.